This chapter will introduce you to heater treaters. We will walk through the basics of separation, types of treaters, pneumatic and mechanical controls. A heater treater is a production vessel designed to heat production fluid. When production fluid is heated, the process of separation is accelerated. The use of heater treaters to separate crude oil is typically found in the upstream sector. The emulsion produced from a well is made up of three main elements, oil, gas, and water. The reason we separate these elements is to make them more valuable. The main goal is to make a natural resource more attractive to the buyer. Purchasers of crude oil don't want there to be any gas and water in their oil they are buying. That would hinder them from making the final product that consumers need. Why are both vertical and horizontal treaters made if they do the same job? Vertical treaters are a more cost-effective option than horizontal. Vertical treaters don't require as much pressure to operate as horizontal treaters do. Vertical treaters reduce the overall footprint of the equipment. On the other hand, a producer may specify a horizontal treater if they need to handle higher volumes of fluid. The burner tube in a horizontal treater has more surface area that comes into contact with the emulsion, which allows a higher flow rate than vertical treaters. Notice the Kimre products in both pictures. The vertical treaters use treater valves on the oil and water dumps, while the horizontal treater uses mechanical dump valves. The other products shown are often used on both vertical and horizontal treaters. Gas back pressure valves, thermostats, and burner valves. All treaters need to have some type of burner management system, or BMS, to control the heat. Keeping a constant temperature in the treater is very important to the separation process. You don't want things to get too hot, but if they're not hot enough, you won't get the separation you need. Whether the treater is vertical or horizontal, all heater treaters are considered three-phase separators. This means that all three phases of separation take place. Water falls to the bottom of the treater and is dumped downstream for recycling or disposal. Oil settles just above the water and is dumped downstream for storage or sales. Gas rises to the top of the vessel and is piped to a sales line, VRU, flare, or combustor. Heater treaters are often the last stage of separation before a resource gets stored or sold, so it is important that all three phases get separated. Operating pressure is a pressure a vessel is normally operated at. Working pressure is the maximum pressure each vessel is rated for. Most modern heater treaters operate at a pressure of up to 125 pounds. Kimray products used on those treaters have an operating pressure of at least 125 psi. A heater treater can be operated using pneumatic or mechanical controls. Pneumatic controls are used if the producer needs to meter fluids. Pneumatic controls can be snap action, which provides more accurate measurement in the metering process. Pneumatic controls offer more flexibility in sizing as well. Mechanical controls are still by far the most popular option. They have a lower operating cost and have minimal emissions when compared to pneumatics. You will need to know the basic flow and connections of a vertical treater when talking with a customer. The well inlet is where the well stream enters the treater. It may be coming directly from the well head or from another upstream vessel like a free water knockout which has achieved some initial separation. The gas outlet is where the gas, which rises to the top of the vessel, is removed. It goes to one of two places, flare or combustion, or sales. The oil outlet is where the oil, which has settled to the middle of the vessel, is processed out for storage and sales. The water outlet on the right side is where the water, which has fallen to the bottom of the vessel, is dumped out for recycling or disposal. Please take the time to familiarize yourself to the different connections labeled on this picture and the functions of the Kimray products shown. Thank you for participating in this training.